morning everyone. It is Friday morning. <laughs> Chloe is just getting a car seat into the front of the car. She likes sitting in the front of me, don't know. And today at Chloe's school is Christmas jumper day. And Christmas dinner. And Christmas dinner. So and shout out to your Christmas jumper. I bought this Christmas jumper. This is Snow Way. And I'm going to perform my, um, my Christmas so in, in school and we're going to see the pantomime after. Uh, so Chloe today has Christmas dinner, Christmas jumper day and performing show. Performing a show to the school which we're going to watch, we're going to get to watch next week. Yeah because no adults are going to watch today. And then once Chloe comes back from school we are off to pantomime tonight so. Seven. And we will be taking you with us. So yeah. that'll be exciting won't it? We're really excited about that aren't we? So we are now off to the school. before I start working. I've got quite a busy day ahead of me, just, I do semi permanent makeup, so I've got a few eyebrow top ups and that is it, me done for the day. So, I'll just show you where I work then. So I work in my garden at home. This is my treatment room, which I work in. And it's so nice working from home. It fits in with the kids, fits in with the school run. I don't really miss out on much of the kids' life when they're back at home from school. Um, I can take them to school and I think that the kids really enjoy me being around and just seeing me from the, from the house in the garden. So I'm going to have my drink and then I'm going to get on with work and then I'll be picking Chloe up from school. So I've just finished work and it was a bit of a stressful day today <coughs> with this cheeky monkey. You a cheeky monkey? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bit of a stressful day because Danny had to leave for work and then he got his van stuck in the mud. I don't know if you can see it like outside on the lawn. He parked on the grass and his van got stuck. What? So we had to get. A gary! So he, he managed to get a skip lorry driver to tow him off so he could get to work on time. And then Stan had to come in to work with me, didn't you? And he was being very <laughs> cheeky. And when you're tattooing someone's eyebrows, it actually is not the best thing to have a child around in your room with you, is yeah. it? Yeah. So after all that stress, we're going to go and pick Chloe up from school, aren't we? Yeah! But I just saw that. But before that, Stanley needs more chocolate. As my lovely client bought me some Heroes, which we've already gone through all these. <laughs> so, Stanley, you yeah. love chocolate, don't you? Yeah, I, love, I like this chocolate. Stanley is. I didn't know what a chocoholic was until I had Stanley. Because he absolutely loves chocolate. Don't you? Yeah. So should we go and get cocoa? Yeah! Do you go open that first? So we've just picked Chloe up back up from school and we grabbed a cheeky McDonald's, didn't we? This is for lunch, is there? Daddy was very naughty and didn't give Stanley any lunch, so... He's eating his lunch right now because he is not eating. When he hasn't eaten lunch, he calls his dinner lunch. So he gets really confused. So. This is fast. No, no, lunch. 
Stop They're just having it. a quick McDonald's and then we're going to wait for my mum to come round to look after Stanley and me and Clay will be then off to pick Auntie Alicia up and go to the Cliffs Pavilion to go and watch the dress rehearsal of Jack and the Beanstalk. You excited? Yeah. We're very excited. So now we're just going to go and get ready. So we are, we've just got ready and now we're going to the pantomime. Going to the pantomime. It is quite, uh, it's quite late. What time is it? It's 6.18. 6 15. Panto starts no. at 6, 18. I mean, 6 o'clock, doesn't it? But it's in the other. When it gets past 12 o'clock. Hmm? When it gets past 12 o'clock, it goes 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's 18, which is 6 o'clock. Oh. So panto Hello. starts at 7, so we're just on our way now. We're going to get some little goodies in there to eat. We love the Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll just that now. We're going to get some goodies to eat and Come on. then we're going to start watching it. So we'll see you when we get there. So we're just on our way to the panto and we saw this really cool house, look at that. Look how cool them disco lights are. And, and it's got some, and the other one's got some, and it's got gold lights. So I was really impressed by those, weren't we, Clive? Yeah. So now we are going! Going! We're just in the car. We're just turning. I don't actually know the quickest way to go. So. Right now. Hmm. Well, we're going Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just walking up to the theatre now. Ready, Clay?
<laughs> we'll be here till two o'clock with the notes, I'll tell you that little. Uh, we couldn't do it without several people, namely this wonderful orchestra down here. They are fantastic. Give them a big round of applause, Joe, Andy and Lee. Come on, folks, give them a big cheer. We couldn't do it without our backstage crew. They've worked their socks off. We've got a member curtain. We've got Glenn, we've got Tom on our, uh, off of the sound up here uh, at uh, our end. So give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. I'll dress this and everyone. I'll find the stage. I'll find the theatre staff. I know it's a very... So we just got home from watching Jack and the Beanstalk and we had a really good time, didn't we? It was so funny. If anyone is in South End, it's definitely worth going to watch. Stacey Solomon was really good. Bobby Davro was so funny, wasn't it? We was all laughing so Scary. much. Scary. Chloe was a bit scared of... Who was he? Robin. Yeah, what was his name in the pantomime? Baddie. He was the baddie. He was the bad guy. Um, he was really scary, wasn't he, for you? Yeah. And there was also a 3D section where we all got to wear 3D glasses, and that was really cool, wasn't it? Did you did you wear yours? Mm, I wore mine the whole off? time. Chloe kept taking hers on and off, but that was really good, wasn't it? Funny. So now we are home. It's ten o'clock, and. We are knackered. I know Chloe is absolutely shattered. She was nearly falling asleep in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you was. You was tired, weren't you? You was moaning that you were tired. So she's just eating some pancakes and then she is off to bed. Up for dancing in the morning. Mm -hmm. If she can get up. I will get up. You will. And in the pantomime, uh, one of her little friends, well, a girl from dancing, was in the pantomime, wasn't she? And would you like to be in the pantomime one day? I would, I would, I really wanted to be in the pantomime. Did any of you want to be in the pantomime when you were younger? Because I always wanted to be a dancer in the pantomime. I'm already I a dancer. I used to sit there watching the pantomime every year, because it was something that I used to do every year when I was little. So I like taking Chloe every single year to the pantomime, because it reminds me of when I was younger. And I think I still enjoy it as much as she does. I love that. I, I enjoy it more. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> right, so I'm knackered. Chloe's knackered. So, night. See you tomorrow. Bye.